Texas Governor Greg Abbott is cracking down on a violent migrant gang known as Tren de Aragua, designating them as a foreign terrorist organization. Take a listen. They have a target on their back and we're going after them. We have one goal and that is to arrest them and make them understand uh, that Texas is the wrong state for them to be trying to do business in. He's saying don't mess with Texas. And with this designation, Texas does have the legal authority to seize the gang's assets and put more pressure on them through the state's courts. Joining me now to provide some more insight is someone very familiar with the southern border, a vice president of the National Border Patrol Council, Chris Cabrera. Um, Chris, thank you so much for being with me. Take us behind the scenes and into the minds of Border Patrol agents right now. Uh, I mean, how serious of a threat is this group? You know, it, it's a very serious threat. I mean, this, this gang, uh, you know, came on all of a sudden. I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it spread very quickly, and it's they're not like traditional gangs that that have a, a lot of tattoos that you can identify them from. Uh, and then you compile you uh, compile that with the fact that we can't uh, access Venezuela's database of, of criminal history, so we're kind of at the mercy of the uh, of, of the individual coming in. And you know, unfortunately, we don't know their gang members until after they leave our custody and start committing crimes. Why is their footprint expanding so quickly right now? Uh, you know, Venezuela has cleared out their jails and sent people north. And for some reason, this administration has welcomed them in, uh, regardless of not having the proper um, vetting capabilities. We're still taking people and taking their word for it. So uh, people know that they can come in here and there's going to be very little resistance to get into the country and to disappear to a sanctuary city. And that's what they're doing. Yeah, I know they have presence in Aurora, Colorado, uh, multiple states across the country. Is there one state or area in particular where they have the largest presence? Well, you know, I'm not sure uh, where the largest presence is, but I think, you know, New York City would be uh, up there with it. You know, I mean, there was a lot of Venezuelans heading there initially when their their uh, their city government was was handing out, you know, money and, you know, free hotel rooms. So, you know, a big chunk went up there and then they've kind of dispersed throughout the nation. And Chris, as I mentioned right off the top, Texas Governor Greg Abbott declared them a foreign terrorist organization. How exactly does that change the game when it comes to monitoring them? Well, you know, that, that'll work as far as something on the state side. I know they'll have, uh, you know, more abilities to, uh, you know, seize assets and, you know, different you know, issues uh, along that line. But um, so, yeah, hopefully it, it will make a big difference and, and we can start getting this uh, this problem under control before it gets gets away from us. Yeah, hopefully it does make a big difference uh, for all of us. Uh, Chris Cabrera, thank you so much for joining me. We knew you were the guy to talk to about this group. All right, thank you for having me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.